Turkey is on course for an early election after President Recep Tayyip Erdogan said that he had no intention of giving a mandate to form a government to the main opposition Republican People's Party, CHP, in violation of established democratic practices in Turkey. We have no time to lose with those who do not know the address of BESTP, Erdogan said on Wednesday, in reference to the CHP's continued refusal to visit him at the presidential palace in Ankara's BESTP neighborhood. Following the June 7 general election, the deadline for parties to form a coalition government, which Erdogan recently said he would not extend, ends on August 23. According to the Constitution, after consulting with the Speaker of Parliament, the President can call an early election after the time allotted for coalition talks expires on Sunday. CHP spokesman Haluk Koc recently accused Erdogan of working to prevent the CHP from forming a government noting that such a move would show a lack of respect to the national will after interim Prime Minister Ahmet Davut Alu, the chairman of the Justice and Development Party, AK Party, returned the mandate to Erdogan on Monday after failing in his efforts to form a coalition. The CHP is ready to take the responsibility of governing the country, KOC said in a press conference at the party's headquarters following a speech Erdogan gave to a number of Mukhtars or people administratively in charge of villages and neighborhoods and towns. Apparently in preparation for an early election, Erdogan was scheduled to meet with the parliament speaker at 6 p.m. on Wednesday. Following the president's call for an early election, a power-sharing interim government will be formed within five days as per Article 114 of the Constitution. According the law, all parties represented in Parliament should be represented in the interim government in accordance with the number of deputies each party has in Parliament. The interim government would remain in place until the early election. KOC also announced that the CHP would not form part of an interim election government. The Nationalist Movement Party, MHP, has also reiterated several times that it would not provide any deputies for such a government, but the pro Kurdish People's Democratic Party, HDP, revealed on Tuesday that it would offer members to such a government. Following KOCS press conference, HDP spokesman Ihan Bilgin told Reuters that his party would stick by its decision to participate in the interim government but added that the party expects the rules of courtesy to be respected in the selection of HDP deputies. The figure appointed by the president to form the interim government is legally entitled to name the deputies who will form part of the government. Based on their number of deputies in Parliament, the AK Party is expected to receive 11 ministries in the interim government and the HDP three ministries. The CHP would probably have been be given six ministries and the MHP three had they agreed to be part of an interim government. The HDP has long been accused by Erdogan and the AK Party of being affiliated with the terrorist Kurdistan Workers' Party, PKK which has killed around 50 members of the security forces in attacks over the past weeks. However, Deputy Prime Minister Newman Kurtulmas told Reuters on Wednesday that the HDP's participation in the interim government would not pose any security threat for the nation. We would not have any security concerns in such a government. Turkey will resolutely continue with its struggle against terrorism, Kurtulmas said. Kurtulmas also said that HDP deputies are legitimate representatives of the nation because they were elected by the votes of the people, even though HDP deputies have faced mounting criticism from Erdogan and the government since the June election. Impartial figures, possibly bureaucrats, are expected to fill the places that would have been allocated to the CHP and the MHP in the interim government. In this scenario, a deputy to be appointed by Erdogan, most probably Davut Alu, will head the government. Impartial persons that is, independent figures from within or outside parliament will be appointed to the justice, interior and transportation ministries to ensure the neutrality of the government during the election campaign period. There is no requirement for a vote of confidence for an interim election government formed in this way. In his speech to Mukhtars at the presidential palace, Erdogan argued that the CHP does not deserve to be given the mandate. The CHP deputies who are members of Parliament's Speaker's Council refused to be present in a visit the Council made last month to Erdogan at the Presidential Palace. 
The newly built presidential palace is a very controversial topic not only because it was illegally built and extremely expensive but also because it represents a push by Erdogan for a shift to a presidential system from the country's parliamentary democracy. For the CHP, paying a visit to Erdogan at the presidential palace would, unless it is a vital issue for the country's management, legitimize the much-criticized palace and Erdogan's presidential ambitions. Since it became clear that Davut Alu's efforts to forge a government would not bear fruit, top CHP officials have been calling on the president to give the task to CHP leader Kemal Kılıçdaroğlu. Akif Hamzaspi, a CHP deputy who was formerly the party's parliamentary group deputy chairman, said on Wednesday that Erdogan must give the mandate to the CHP leader. If Mr. Kılıçdaroğlu is not given the mandate, democracy in Turkey would be seriously damaged. Hamza Sp told the NTV news channel, drawing attention to the increase in acts of terrorism and the worsening economy. Hamza Sp argued that Turkey needs a strong coalition government. In line with Turkey's established democratic practices, the president is expected to confer the task to form a government on the leader of another party represented in parliament, most fittingly the leader of the main opposition party. If the first party assigned the mandate is unable to form a coalition. An early election within three months of Erdogan's call is now the likely outcome, most probably in November or at the end of October. Turkey's Supreme Election Board (YSK) announced on Tuesday that should a snap election be called, it would have the authority to shorten the 90-day limit to form a government, based on Article 9 of the Deputy Election Law and Article 79 of the Constitution. Before Erdogan's speech to the Muktars. CHP Parliamentary Group Deputy Chairman Levent Gok said the president should give the mandate to the CHP leader without delay, warning that Erdogan would be held responsible for the rising costs of the country of continuing without a proper government. Gok told the Semanyolo Haber news channel, "We are saying that we are willing to form a government. We are waiting to be given the mandate." Erdogan, who has been accused by the opposition of having deliberately worked against a coalition government, Signaled in the days after June 7 that he favors an early election. In the June election, in which the AK party lost its parliamentary majority for the first time since coming to power in 2002, no single party won enough votes to form a government by itself. In remarks to the Come Hear Yet Daily on Wednesday, Kılıçdaroğlu maintained that Erdogan's refusal to give the CHP the mandate reveals the unwillingness of the president and the AK party to leave power through democratic means. Media reports have alleged that Erdogan is concerned that he and other senior AK party figures could face trial due to sweeping allegations of corruption should parties other than the AK party come to power. Two graft probes that went public in December 2013 implicated then Prime Minister Erdogan and four then AK party cabinet ministers in corruption. Following Davut Alu's failure to form a government. Leading CHP officials have argued that not giving the mandate to the CHP would represent a civilian coup d'état by the president. According to Kılıçdaroğlu, refusing to confer the task on another party leader on the assumption that the effort would not bear fruit reveals a lack of faith in democracy. After being elected president in August of last year, Erdogan has been widely criticized by all opposition parties for violating the constitution by meddling in the government's affairs. Openly favoring the AK party, even though the Turkish president is required to remain impartial as per the constitution.